Good morning. It's Wednesday, March 14, and the title for today is Saying No to Debt. It's just common sense to avoid debt as much as you can. Scripture discourages us from co-signing other people's debts as well, Proverbs 17, 18. Debt leverages the future and obligates us to submit to its demands from our position of financial weakness. It is a smooth elixir that Christians find difficult to decline and manage. Debt may not be immoral, but it does not strengthen our spiritual life. There must be strict regard to economy or a heavy debt will be incurred. Keep within the bounds. Shun the incurring of debts as you would shun leprosy. Ellen G. White counsels on stewardship. Debt can become financial bondage that makes us a servant to the lender. Proverbs 22, 7. Because debt is so intertwined with the fabric of our economic world, we think of it as just the norm. After all, whole nations exist on debt. Why shouldn't individuals do the same thing? This is a wrong attitude to have. Make a solemn covenant with God that by His blessings you will pay your debts and then owe no man anything if you live on porridge and bread. It is so easy in preparing your table to throw out your pocket 25 cents for extras. Take care of the pennies and the dollars will take care of themselves. It is the mites here and the mites there that are spent for this, that, and the other that soon run up into the dollars. Deny self at least while you are walled with debts. Do not falter, be discouraged, or turn back. Deny your taste, deny your indulgence of appetite, save your pence and pay your debts. Work them off as fast as possible. When you can stand forth a free man again, owing no man anything, you will have achieved a great victory. Ellen G. White counsels on stewardship, page 257. Debt is a weak foundation for Christians to stand on. It can do damage to our spiritual experience and impact our ability to fund God's work. It robs us of our ability to give others with confidence and steals opportunities for God's blessings. What are some choices you can make right now that could help you avoid unnecessary debt? What might you need to deny yourself of in order to stay out of debt? Thank you for watching. Please answer in the comment section below and have a great day.